Monitoring your APIs is an important part of an API-first workflow. It helps with identifying problems such as poor performance or outages and anomalies with your APIs. You can seamlessly monitor your APIs in Postman by integrating with New Relic, an application performance monitoring solution. Here I have an API for FoodMe, a meal ordering app. The backend node service has been deployed and sends metrics to New Relic. So if I go over to New Relic, I can see both of those services, one on beta and the other one on production and its corresponding metrics such as response time, throughput, error rate, etc. We can view these metrics directly within Postman by configuring the New Relic integration. Let's give a nickname to this integration. We need to provide the New Relic API key so that Postman is able to pull all of the metrics and the dashboards from New Relic into Postman. For this particular integration, we need to provide the API key, which is of type user. So I'm going to copy over this key, go back to Postman and paste it here. So all of the services that are there in New Relic will come up as an option here. And I'm going to pick the services which I'd like to link to this particular version of the API. There is also an option to link dashboards that you have in New Relic. So if you have customized dashboards in New Relic, you can link them as well into this. So now we can see the latency error rate and the AppDeck score, which is the ratio of the requests sent to the ones that are served in Postman. Additionally, I can also see the health state status for both of the services. Beta shows us critical and production thankfully shows us healthy. So I'll go over and see the detailed dashboard to understand why the state is critical for FoodMe Beta. Here we can see the web transaction time, the response times that each of these APIs have taken. Additionally, we can also see the throughput uh, for the APIs and the error rate and the app tech score as well. This is in the past three hours. So if we want, we can actually change the time range to an hour or one day or whichever time range we'd like to focus on. If I scroll over to the bottom, I can see a list of certain violation events which show up as severity critical. So a lot of these have already been closed, but there is one that isn't closed and still shows as critical, which is why the state of this service is showing as critical. So once this is closed and there are no violation events, that is when the service would appear healthy. The reason that we have violation events here is because we had set up certain alert conditions in New Relic which have been violated. So let's go over to New Relic and have a look at the alert conditions that we set up. So here I see an alert condition for error percentage. If it's greater than 30% for at least five minutes, then it should be a critical error which should show up and the state should become critical. And uh, it is categorized as an APM application metric, uh, which is an important detail uh, because it's important to categorize the alert conditions as APM application metric if we'd like for them to be reflected in the Postman app.
We went over to the monitoring tab and added this integration. There is however another route where you can access this integration. If we go over to home and under integrations, browse all integrations and search for new relic. We will find this integration, uh, the one that we just use view new relic metrics and statuses directly from Postman. In addition, there is another integration that I see here, which will bring Postman monitor results into New Relic so that you can be using one tool to capture all of the metrics and monitor your application.